Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start the next level. This is actually the uh, uh, last level before the uh, final boss of this world, so it's, it's gonna be like one of those kinds of curvy levels where you are facing off of get a bunch of bosses like so, and I need you for something, and I also need a needle power. Uh, not you, you're rock. You're still rock. <laughs> it's not it's not for this room anyway. And I'm going to actually skip the shard, believe it or not. I'm gonna get it later, don't worry, but there's two different cutscenes for the upcoming boss, depending on whether you have all the shards or not. So I'll be back to get this one later when I want to show the second cutscene, but as for now I'm just going to leave it behind because it's the first one and I can easily get that anytime and then just exit the level like I showed you how to do before. And as you can tell, we, we are in some sort of like a stage, so to speak, like look at the, the setup of this, it's like a paperish, cardboardish background, so to speak, and you're on... and yeah, you're like rotating in a circle around this area and you get what I'm saying here. I still need... Ow! <laughs> Still need the needle. Da, ah, where is something that... Wait, you. Don't... Oh, you have needle. But don't you have needle too? I just want to make sure I get... <laughs> what? No, that is incorrect. Well, oh, I just got my burning power back anyway. So I guess it didn't really matter all that much. There we go. So yeah, as I said, this is like a boss rush room of sorts where you just face a bunch of critter critters along the way here. These rooms in the middle here that connect them, they're kind of like recovery rooms in a, in a way. Uh, okay, let's go. Ah, this is the one that you need the uh, needle plus fire. See that sun in the middle of the room? Yeah, it's got some really, really bright colors. That's I guess that's how they're guessing that you're going to guess the correct power that you need here. Uh, I still hope I didn't end up missing my opportunity to combine uh, with Needle in this level. Uh, oh, there we go. Before it. There we go. I was a little worried there for a second. This power gives you... It, oh, uh, this also looks like a target because, watch this, Bow and Arrow Kirby. Yeah, it's sort of like the bomb power, and that's the longer you hold it. Yeah, you want to aim for the bullseye. <laughs> Very clever, I have to say, right there. That's the second shard. And... I'm going to snipe my way up the stairs. <laughs> I have to say that the further you get in this place, the more beautiful it gets. Just look how the colors are getting more sunset-y along the way. I think that's rather nice. And now the last shard, I believe, is in this room, actually. And you will get it for defeating the enemies in this room. And this is not a good power. <laughs> there we go. That's much better. Uh, maybe I should... Hey, how dare you poop water on me. You're excessively difficult to hit. <laughs> there we go. I think a spark will actually be better here. Maybe I'd be better off with the light bulb. You never know. Because I could have combined them into that. It's not all that hard of a stage, obviously, you're just popping enemies. But it's pretty fun. And where's there we go? And no shard? I thought you shard for hmm. Maybe this this wasn't the last one. Oops. Uh, if you uh, break these blocks, those gordles just fly right into the abyss, never to return again. I thought that was the last room though, but I guess not, because I didn't reach the top of the tree here. Because the last room was the one that contains the crystal shard, the uh, last crystal shard of the level. So I'm just going to blast my way through these enemies by sheer... Ow. By sheer recklessness, even though it's not reckless when I have a shield on my side there. There we go! There's the last crystal shard. Woo! Well, you know, aside from the one that I didn't collect. <laughs> But I'll be back there later, as I said, once I show you the cutscene as, uh, as the uh, original 
non 100 percent version of it is, basically. And there's the end of the level. I'm pointing too far off again, aren't I? Ah! I was doing so much better at this minigame early on. Anyway, here we go! Final boss! Let's start! Throw away your power. This boss is known as Mighty Matter. Alright, I mean, excuse, excuse me, Miracle Matter, sorry. <laughs> Why did I say Mighty Matter? <laughs> it reminds me of something that, uh, I mean, when I said Mighty, it reminds me of something that, um, Billy Mays would say. <laughs> Billy Mays here with Miracle Matter, or Mighty Matter, or whatever. But what you have to do in this pow I mean, this, in this battle is to take the ability of whatever he is using and spit it back at him. And he's only vulnerable against the element that his form currently is. And it is a pretty long boss, so you are probably going to be here for a while. Oh, dang it. <laughs> and it's also pretty difficult. So be careful. Oh, poopers. <laughs> Well, let's try it again. I have plenty of lives, and I, I didn't have much health to start with anyway. So Billy Mays here with Miracle Matter! It freezes, it skewers, it cuts! Oh, it, it may smash you! <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, so don't even bother absorbing any powers on this one because of the fact that you're gonna have to keep switching anyway. So it's, it's a boss entirely about... Um, spitting enemies or and objects back at him. And see, like, if I wasn't using the right element there because I was a little bit late. Now watch this fire one. Grab the fire off the edges of the screen and spit it back at him. It's got many, many different attacks of each element, and each element has different kinds of styles of attacks. So this one can go in both directions as well. I'm gonna try and get two of these at once. Yeah! More damage! And you also notice that the eyes on it, like they disappear as as you go, like the more damage it takes, the more the eyes are poked out of the thing. It's kind of morbid actually. <laughs> but it's got a lot of eyes to spare, so I guess I guess it's okay. It's like a, a fly of sorts. Dang it! Didn't mean to do that. Come on. I don't the one that I don't like the most is probably pff, the rock one. Because it's it's kinda hard to avoid his rolls and slams on the ground. At least in my opinion, that's the one that gives me... Oh wait, this one's also pretty bad. He shoots directly towards you, and they actually deflect off of him around the room and loop to the edges of the side, and you've got to watch all sides of the screen at the same time. That one actually might be worse than the, the rock one. I kind of forgot about that. I don't know how I could forget about that, considering that it was the, the bane of my existence. <laughs> before. This is definitely the hardest boss in the game, in my opinion. And rightfully so, because it's pretty late in the game. <laughs> okay. I think I'm getting... Ah, there we go. Whenever you see that explosion, it, it just like stops like that. Um, it, it basically means that you've uh, defeated the element, and I'm waiting for it to dive towards the ground, like that. Scrape towards the ground because that's the move I was predicting it was going to do, but I kept failing to jump over it because of that. Uh, this ice one, though, has got quite a range. <laughs> Although you're pretty protected when you are inhaling, because you're sucking in the uh, little ice pyramids as he's rotating them around him. Or her, whatever the heck this thing is. And so what? I was too close to it and I actually took damage as it was expanding. Seriously? This is such a long boss! <laughs> Alright. But for this one, you want to suck... Ugh. You want to suck the edge of the blade off of him and then spit it back at him. I didn't really make a good explanation for that before. You can get a lot of hits on him, actually, on that form. And I just wasn't really taking much, much advantage of it because I am... Clearly rusty at playing this boss for whatever reason. But that's okay, I will manage to defeat it. I, I'm actually gonna have to defeat it twice in order to show you both cutscenes though. Oh well. Oh, careful. Oh god, watch all sides of the screen. 
And also try and group the leftover sparks together if you can, so if you get more damage output. Uh, just by getting him to fire in certain directions, that would work to your advantage, basically. Oh shoot. Um, there we go. Oh, not the rock! <laughs> well, it's, it's called stone, but still. No! <laughs> Help! <laughs> it, it, see, the thing is that he kind of traps you because he follows you in the rock form. So what happens is, yeah, you kind of have that issue of... You have to get him to stay at the corner so that he doesn't manage to touch you. That's kind of a problem. Oh, took care of that pretty quick. <laughs> um, yes, got two. That's the trick to getting, getting two on the needle one there, is to aim for the one that is uh, furthest away from you. Like, stay on the opposite side of the middle one that is... It's kind of hard to describe. I mean, I'm having trouble describing it. Oh, that bubble one is actually the bomb version. Like, these are all Kirby's powers in the form of uh, Miracle Matter here. So it's kind of like his own versions of your powers that you can take from enemies. Uh, but yeah, about that needle one, you want to be on the, on the side, the opposite side of the direction that he's initially going at, or going around, because you'll be able to get two needle like that. Uh, okay, watch the side, uh, you go on this side, now, as that one's forming, you do that, and then you'll be able to shoot two, two at them like that. Well, it's it's a double power, but so you're not actually shooting two, you're shooting one combined into it, and yeah, you get what I'm saying here. So this one's pretty obvious and pretty predictable. You know, he shoots in four lateral, la lateral directions, up, down, left, and right, so you don't have to worry about that one, as long as you stay um, diagonal to uh, where he is. No problem whatsoever. Combine! Doing well this time, because I got the hang of him again. Let him shoot towards you. Oh boy. Please have mercy. <laughs> Don't like the spark one. Spark and stone. And we got bubbles. Well, bubbles are pretty predictable, but they still can get, get you trapped. And we have our winner! And there's the last crystal shard in the game, and boy, it is a large one. Whew. Now you're treated to a cutscene that you only see if you don't have all the crystal shards. Dark matter is gone! The universe is saved, thanks to Kirby and friends. All is well now. Look at DDD, he's getting all sentimental. All is not well. And then you go to the credits. I can't believe I'm almost done with the game already. Well, I can. But I mean that, you know, I've been waiting to play this game for such a long time. I've had so many issues trying to find a way to record this game. And I've been working on it for a long, long time. I'm talking years. <laughs> and then I start the walkthrough, and then it's done in under 20 parts. <laughs> But the reason why I wanted to do this game is because I thought it would be a spectacular game to make a walkthrough on. It's just my style. And it's also a great game in general, even though that's really, really short. Uh, I question if it would be worth the price, like, way back when it was released, because, you know, when it was released on the N64, so games, you know, when they were new, they would be, um, like, $50 or so, and... You know, you could get through this game relatively quickly, uh, even if you were to 100% it, so... Yeah, you see where I'm getting at here, but since this is a part of the Kirby's Dream Collection now, 
it's definitely a, a lot more uh, worth the price and you can also get it on the uh, uh, virtual console I think for eight dollars or something like that but definitely definitely a game that is worth playing it's not hard it's not all that fast-paced it's just plain old fun <laughs> and uh, as I always say I did not make the game I just made the walkthrough to the game these people did these awesome people and I also like the little sketchy images here I wonder if they're like part of the game's development or something like that that they like added to it as a Easter egg or something like that anyway I am going to collect that shard and I'll see you back at the other cutscene when you get all the crystal shards. Ninety nine percent. Notice that once you get all the shards that it'll indicate that you should play the last level again just by its flashiness so let's do so and now for the cutscene that you get when you get all the crystal shards ha it sensed it <laughs> 